Hello and welcome back to the sunny Germany with a lot of sunlight and this is also the reason why for I think the next few episodes will be without the green screen and it's not important anyway for the series I just like to have this little extra effect in it but for now because the sun is shining and it's warm as hell here yeah, I will just let it disable and we left off at a cliffhanger and we are keeping up with this right now. <clears throat> Tsubaki's face changed dramatically at this point. She let loose her suppressed emotion that had been accumulating over time. Haru-chan was <laughs> thinking about Hiroaki as <laughs> well as Hiroaki. She sounds like this when she let loose? Haru-chan, don't you realize it's your fault Hiroaki was kidnapped? At some point her nervous wandering eyes had begun to stare straight into Yusami. You are talking about the perpetrator's motives? If his aim was only to get money, why would he kidnap Hiroaki? Why choose a normal family like ours? Sorry for the interruption, but the window was still open and I don't feel comfortable when the people outside who are sunbathing and stuff like that could eventually hear me, but now I... Thing. And I even so, I think I can't get a grasp of Tsubaki's voice right now, and I don't know why. I didn't expect this from Tsubaki. Not only did seeing her blame another surprise me, but to find that she had genuine interest in the criminal mo criminal's motives. Tsubaki no yu tori da yo. Mao ga waza waza yukai jiken wo okoshita no wa. Watashi wo nanraka no katachi de otoshiireru tame da to omo. It's just as you say. I think Mao kidnapped Hiroaki-kun to harm me indirectly. Oh, now she's cutting close. So, you're saying we are just caught in the crossfire? Tsubaki cried out hysterically. The warm atmosphere of a crowded school in the middle of the day froze in an instant. <laughs> so sorry Tsubaki's shoulders trembled and she unsteadily covered her mouth. <laughs> I what's wrong with me? I, I'm sorry. That's not what I wanted to say. Tsubaki's family was suffering from this hardship because of you, Sami. It somehow brought to my mind the image of a detective in a novel who found murder cases wherever he went. Like Detective Conan? It's not that I don't understand Tsubaki's feelings, but the person she is taking her wage out on should be the kidnapper, not you, Sami. Hiroaki-kun has kidnapped because of me, and misfortune has been brought upon your family because of me. So you're saying you no longer want anything to do with me? Yusami said this in a surprisingly calm tone. I'm not really surprised about it. <laughs> Tsubaki averted her eyes under the pressure. Well, why did you have to say that in such a harsh way? Was it harsh? It was very calm and just wanted to see if this is what you wanted to say. Haru-chan ga yoku wakaranai yo. Haru-chan, I don't understand you. Tsubaki spoke with her head down and her eyes up, as if to judge Yusami's reaction. Sorry, for causing trouble, I mean. 
自分、教室に戻ります。I'll go back to the classroom. With a face which clearly stated there was nothing more to say, Yusami walked away. Hey! I called out to the trembling Tsubaki. Have you eaten lunch yet? Let's go eat together if you haven't. Tsubaki remained silent long after my invitation had dissolved into the wind. All the dots. Now I get a raging headache and I'm not turning into an evil mastermind. Ugh, I don't even know why it's such... Okay, now the music is friendlier than before. During the lessons, I kept an eye on Tsubaki from the seat behind her. Her mind seemed to have been wandering off as she answered the teacher's questions. Heavazardly. Heavazardly. I won't write this one down. Eichi whispered to me during English class. Crap, man! Everybody's absent because of the flu! We're going to be asked questions soon! The coming winter brought flu season with it, it seems. Wow! They have winter and we have full on summer going on out here! I don't even know, is it spring or summer? I never can really distinguish that. I think it's summer. Almost summer. I mean, there's not even summer holidays yet, and it's already this warm. Why does English have to exist in this world? Hell, why are there different languages at all? Love has no bounders. Borders, I mean. And how dare you to insult the English language? But you're right. Why, why are there even different languages at all? It would be really great if, if the whole world could just settle on one worldwide spoken language. Which basically is English at this point. I mean, it's not the most spoken language, but only because I guess China has the hugest population. But it is chosen as the world's spoken language. I don't really know why though. I, I like it of course too, because this is the whole reason why I'm even having this channel and why I even want to do this and why I even want to improve myself in my fluency in the English language. Just because for it being being breaking the borders you have if you can come to an, into another country. Almost every country teaches English, so if you can speak English you basically can communicate in every country possible even if you are a stranger in their land, so that's one of the main reasons why I like the language so much, so... And I really, really wished I would be a native speaker, so I wouldn't screw up so much. But yeah, on the one hand, Eiji, how dare you insulting the English language, and on, on the other hand, he's so white about why are there different languages at all. You sound like a poet today, Eiji. <laughs> you know what? I've made up my mind. I'll make Japanese the official language of the world. I'm going to dedicate my life to that cause. Sounds great. Still, to do that, you have to study English. No way! Languages like English, Italian, and German must be destroyed! Yeah, German is a fucked up language. I mean, even, even if you're a native English speaker, there are dialects and and books that you can barely understand in all this mashed up English, English, Italian, Brazilian, 
hi in German haiku shit poetry like that. I mean, it's I don't know. Oh, German is the hardest language in the world. I mean, not even. I mean, even a lot of German people I know say German is one of the hardest languages to learn. And I must say, they are white. I feel more comfortable in the English language than I am in my German language. Sometimes, for the sole reason that uh, I sometimes can't even get everything what a German people tries to say to me. So yeah, German language must be destroyed. Maybe. Yeah, whatever. Do you really have to destroy them? Oh, he made a fa fair point there. Definitely, it's hard to distinguish between a capitalized O and the number zero. It's too inconvenient for a world language. It would hurt a lot of people if you destroyed the languages. Yeah, the no, I'll complete the true alphabet. <laughs> Yusami from the seat in front of us creaked her head in our direction. What did you just just say? Huh? He even said the correct name. Alphabet. <laughs> Oh, about the photo photography she looked at. I'll complete the true alphabet. Not Be Before that. It's hard to distinguish between the capitalized O and the number zero. No, before that too? <laughs> Sorry! Sex is a pain in the ass, but I just love that ass. <laughs> Come on now, you said no such thing. Oh, uh, for what was it again? He said he'd destroy languages like English, Italian, and German. That's it. She nodded silently. What's that? You'll destroy them with me? No, but you've been of great use to me, Eiji-san, even though even the Japanese words didn't even mention his name, but... For some reason it is now. Oh, I love this soundtrack. I don't know if it's too 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 quiet for you to hear, but it's cool. Adai son, that sensation of grasping a cloud now feels at least like grasping cotton candy. What does that just when I was about to ask, the teacher glared at me. We might have been a bit too noisy for class time. Yusami averted her eyes and became silent. The lesson proceeded without a second thought. Yusami hastily left the classroom after school. Wait up, Yusami! I'm in a hurry. What is it? Did you think of something just now? Oh, you mean that? She said this as if the thought had surfaced just now. Ah, right. It might be more efficient if you help me investigate. Investigate what? I noticed something about the letters on the document in the photo. Oh? That's probably not English. Those Roman letters might actually be Latin, or at least some other language. I don't know the details, though. 
Latin, you say? Ano, RP nan desu ga ne? The letters were RP, right? That's Latin? H san ga Deutsch go to ka itta no de, ishun Deutsch go ka na to ka omotta toki ni pin to kimashita. Kyou wa kaze de kesseki ga oi mitai desu shi ne. Eichi-san said something about German, so I thought that might be it. And then, just as I was thinking that there were a lot of people sick and absent from school today, it hit me. I suddenly got it too. So please fill me in. Are they medical records? It's it's quite possible. I remembered seeing the doctor's white RP on the records in the hospital, so I thought of it. Because doctors and, st and people like that still use a dead language trying to explain what a disease you have for some stupid reason instead to use easy words to make it understandable for everyone and make the studying medicine still a pain in the ass. What does it mean? It seems to be something like a prescription. I see. But wait. Hey, Yusami, when we looked at that picture, didn't we decide that all the other characters in the document were Roman too? Yes. Yes, afterwards, I took another look at it under the assumption that it could be a medical record. In doing so, I found what appeared to be the word for blood in German. Oh, This girl knows German, eh? Oh, she's just so cool. That's the reason she's my main character. She's so much versatile. He's really mysterious and at the same time so... So all up in the sky and open-minded, she likes to role-play and thinks of herself as a hero, took matter into her own hand, has endurance, has strength and stamina and all that, has a powerful mind. Ah, oh, this is just... And on top of that, she looks fucking awesome. But yeah, that's the power of anime, everyone. And of course, manga and anime, because there's a distinguished manga is the is the art style in in, in written and anime is the all moving stuff. I know about that. Oh w wait, did I? Oh okay, thought it might be German. I've heard there are relatively few doctors who actually use German to take records. Apparently, they usually use Japanese or English. Hi. Yes, if it's really a medical record, I personally find it bizarre that it's free of Japanese. She adjusted her hair. Tada desne. Otoshi omesta kaigyo ino kata no naka niwa, mare ni irasharun da sou desu. Still, there seems to be a small percentage of older doctors who really do that. Oh, why? Then an old abandoned hospital won't make sense. Don't you think it should be easy to investigate? Iwaki kun is imprisoned in an abandoned hospital? We can narrow it down a lot, huh? Yes, it's a great step, even if we only know it's a hospital. We should investigate quickly. I doubt there will be that many abandoned hospitals, so we might find it right away. Can you get permission to enter like you did yesterday, which you actually did not and just lied straightly to my face? I get right on it after we get the okay. Uh, wait a second. I stopped you, Sammy, before she could dart off. What Tsubaki said to you just now, doesn't it bother you? <laughs> she said she wanted nothing to do with me. Yeah, it, it looks like Tsubaki's feelings got a little out of control. It doesn't bother me. 
And I think I call bullshit on that. Of course it bothers you. It meant so much to her. As Tsubaki said that she is such a good friend now to her. So it has to bother her. At least until Tsubaki decides to call the police, I'll continue to investigate this matter myself. See ya. She went briskly down the hall wall. How do, do you run briskly? It's, it's really a nice word, briskly. I briskly took a deep breath. Or something like that. <laughs> I should probably get home. Maybe I caught the flu. My head is aching a bit. Nope, it's Mao trying to take over your body. Even so, that was an impressive find. Not bad, Yusami. Feeling a bit dizzy, I placed my palm tightly against my forehead. Mao, come forth and take over control to this weak body. It's Mao. And I have to drink constantly, otherwise I will dry out here. And oh, and it's so warm in here, that's really bad for my voice. But I still try my best. All the dots. Okay. I received a phone call from Mr. Sumeya while walking unsteadily through the crowd. Adai-kun, thanks to you I'm saved. It was nothing. Wait, this voice sounds familiar. Isn't this Mao's voice? Or was it a different? It sounds so... You remember that thing we discussed about the Eastern District, of course? Well, I hear the Miva family finally submitted and the plan's on track again. That's good to hear. <laughs> Wait, what? So, so he is Mao right now. So he is Azai Kun, and he's still he's still called Azai by all his other mans. And what? What? So. Normally, if someone calls him Azai, it's it's the real one and not Mao. So, and this time he calls him Azai and Mao. So, what the fuck is going on? I won't ask what you did, but thank you anyway. You really are worthy of the name Mao. Sumeya so was quite pleased. No, I should be the one thanking you. I really appreciate you lending that place to me. You mean the abandoned hospital in the Eastern District? Just as you had stated, even the gangs and the homeless wouldn't go near there. It's really a wonderful place. The security patrols that make occasional rounds there do a good job of keeping those hoodlums away. I see. Is that all for today? Well, actually, about that hospital. What is it? Coincidentally, I just received word that somebody was trying to get permission to enter it recently. Who? Wait, 
Are there two Azais now? I mean, he called him Azai just now. And Azai asked for permission to enter the hospital. So, isn't that... How can he not remember the name of the one who asked for permission to get on the hospital field? I mean, it should be weird that Azai... Gonsu and Azai Gonsu wanted the same permission twice. Are you screwing around with me right now? I'm not sure, but they didn't seem to be with the police. Did they leave a name? They backed off after finding out the place is owned by Sano. Naturally, we didn't permit them to enter. Thanks for the heads up. I'll contact you again soon. I hung up and sank into thought. And what I have to do now is to look into that history and make sure that I'm not a total idiot. Other icon, thanks to you, I'm saved. I... Was it you, Sami? If it was her, investigation is proceeding faster than predicted. The pictures might have been too much of a hint. If all I wanted to do was inform the family of Hiroaki's safety, I could have just put the phone up to him. There was no need to go out of my way to send a photo of where the hostage was kept. There was no doubt that Yusami would try to find Hiroaki's whereabouts through the photo. However, my true aim lies elsewhere. They won't find the hostage even if they search the hospital. This marks Yusami's second major mistake, the first being the fiasco with the ransom. And this will eventually fuel the flames of strife between Yusami and Tsubaki. That's why I sent her the photo. Helping the Sano Corporation with this troublesome land acquisition trifle might be the main goal of this kidnapping, but that's not the full extent of my motives. Yusami Haru. That woman is one of the few people privileged to knowledge of my past. She's also the only one searching for me right now. I want to finish her, but I have to let her go this time. The hints the photos left were more troublesome than expected. And I'm still confused why wouldn't she find him if she knew the location now. I was nearly caught by Yusami while running through the downtown area too. Of course, no evidence that could clearly indicate my location was left behind. Still, you can never be too careful. If their search for Hiroaki had taken just a bit longer, I could have taken a friend away from Yusami. Of course, making use of Tsubaki. Nevertheless, the seed has already been planted within her. Now I only have to wait for it to bloom. Lastly, I'll contact Tsubaki. I give her back her brother. However, I must make my point clearly. If she dares contact the police, their family will suffer once more. Because after all, Tsubaki still has two younger sisters and another brother. And we are back. Dot dot dots, all the dots. I returned home immediately after the negotiation and took a short nap. And while I was napping, I turned into an evil devil without conscience. Which even uses my name as well. This is, by the way, no alcohol, if you think anything like that. It's cola and orange. Yeah. 
it's not the healthiest thing in the world, but it's basically just colored tasteful water at this point because it has zero sugar. But I think my insulin will just skywalk with this shit. But um, unfortunately, I'm pretty healthy What this we got, so hmm, whatever. It tastes way too good to not drink it. Oh, my ice cubes are all melted already. I feel like I have fever. Maybe I really did, sh did catch the flu. Mm -hmm. Someone's here. When I picked up the receiver, Yusami's face appeared on the monitor. I'm still in doubt that they are the same person. Even though from one of m one of one of my comments stated that uh, that Azai is actually Mao. So, but it's so confusing that now an acquaintance of Mao also calls him Azai. And that he didn't even realize the one who called them to ask for permission to get into the hospital area. I would have thought he used his name to get the permission. But on the other hand, he he even lied about that he got the permission and that he would use the name of Gonzo. Hmm. Sorry for the late visit, Azai-san. What do you want? Have you found the location of the abandoned hospital yet? The abandoned hospital... Eh? Huh? Ah, yeah, yeah, I looked it up. That'll help a lot. Would you come inside for a bit? Yusami softly replied in the affirmative. But you know, it really isn't necessary for you to come in person. Just give me a phone call next time. <laughs> what are you talking about? I called twice. Oh, really? Sorry, I was probably asleep. <laughs> Is that so? You don't have the flu, do, do you? Take care of yourself. I spread out the printouts detailing the requested information on the coffee table. It was all sent from real estate agencies. Well, it seems to be called a Jiri Hospital. I've heard it was abandoned in the eastern outskirts. The hospital's founder, Dr. Ejiri, was some guy born in the Meiji era. He died long ago. I told her about the address in detail. <laughs> I knew you'd follow through, Adai son. Thanks. There are no other abandoned hospitals in the city that match our criteria. I'll head out right away. I go too. Really? Are you sure? You're sick, aren't you? I'm um, sorry that I have to interrupt it again, but my, my tongue. It's a little bit damaged, more or less, and that is because of, I don't know if you know those little sweets here, but I don't know, um, those things, those are super sour, um, how is it called in English again? It's not gum, it's wine gums or something like that? Well, those things are super sour and... Yeah, they burn up your tongue and then you have the feeling that you have, I don't know, that your tongue is numb on some places if you eat too much of them and this is what's going on. So it was a really bad idea to buy those. I'm not going because I'm, wo I'm not going because I'm worried about you. Wait, did I miss something? You're sick, aren't you? I'm not going because I'm worried about you. The owner of this hospital is a subs si subsidiary of the Sano Corporation. If anything goes wrong, it could cause a scandal for Sano. I've got to keep an eye on Yusami to make sure she doesn't get into any trouble. Well, let's go. Um, damn, I don't even have military gloves. 
お揃いにしましょう。Want me to lend you a pair? We could have a matching set. I left my home disgusted. Oh, why? She's such a beautiful girl and she's smart and she has, she has character and righteousness and all this got, this got things and you don't like her. Ugh, I would understand if you were Mao. <laughs> yeah, I know that you are Mao, but you are not the same person as Mao, at least not if you. Oh, whatever. The residential area gets especially cold at night. I received f a phone call from Tsubaki on the way to Yusami's apartment. What is it? Just as I finished asking, Tsubaki's unbelievably joyful voice came from the other end of the line. Are they good? Let me guess, Hiroaki kun is back. Ah, uh, are they kun? What is it? Did something happen? And I couldn't listen to this. She spoke so hurriedly that I almost envisioned saliva pouring out of her mouth. Really? Oh, I can listen to this. Why am I doing so weird faces? He, he's back. He's come home. He's back? What? Hiroaki is back? It might just have been my mind playing tricks on me, but it felt like even my voice was shivering. <laughs> yes! Yes! It sounded like she was crying. She repeated the same mumble yes repeatedly. That, that's fantastic! My whole body relaxed after hearing this. I've been such a burden on you, Adai-kun. Really, thank you. N no, I didn't do anything. I only let you help me make a fortune. <laughs> anyway, that's that's all I had to say. Uh, all right, I Hiroaki must be in shock too. Cheer him up for me. I'll come visit him sometime. Definitely! G good night! She left me with a farewell and witched with endless joy. Looks like she can finally have a good night's sleep. I let out a long sigh too. I don't have to worry about the police showing up anymore. <laughs> Yusami, it's just as you've heard. That's wonderful! A smile appeared on the tip of her lips. However, her eyes only bore a strange glow. Now, we can call the police. Now that Hiroaki is back, we can reveal this incident. I'm planning to provide evidence to the police too. True, the only reason we didn't contact the police was because the hostage was still in the culprit's hands. Now that the hostage is back, there's no need to hesitate. It's getting late. You should go back home. You can go visit Tsubaki tomorrow. Right, we don't have school tomorrow. Good night. I'm so glad it's all okay now. I nervously watched Yusami leave. I must do something. Unlike Tsubaki, these circumstances didn't give me the courtesy of rest. So what the fuck are you doing now? Is Yusami calling the police without the consent of Tsubaki? Or... Oh god, this can go turn out badly. I rushed to Tsubaki's house first thing in the morning the next day. The train was empty, typical of a weekend morning. Tsubaki immediately presented her brother to me as she answered the door. Wow, he looks quite happy for being just released out of imprisonment. If 
this is even a real word. Hey, Uni Chang! Hi. I was taken aback somewhat. Hey, you look pretty good. Given the fact that he was taken hostage and trapped in an abandoned hospital for a week. Right? And here we were worrying about him. Tsubaki recovered her smile. Were you cold? It was dark, but the room was warm. What about food? I had a lot of bread. There were even snacks. That's pretty luxurious for a hostage. Do you remember anything about the kid? I mean, who were you staying with? Mr. Horse! Horse? What a naive little brat! Yep, he said I was a, he was a relative of my dad, told me to be a good boy and just wait there for a little while. And so I did all alone by myself in a dark, dark room in a dark, dark house. There was a dark, dark floor in a dark, dark basement. And there was a big skeleton and a little skeleton and a human! <laughs> Whatever. A man with a horse mask, I'm guessing. I thought he was scary in the car, but he's a good person, even after he strangled me and let me lose consciousness. He gave me candy and toys and stuff. Well, the kidnapper got Hiroaki on his side pretty easily. Sis, were you lonely? Hiroaki flashed a mischievous smile. Gosh, this kid is... Come on. Tsubaki looked like she was going to cry. All's well that ends well, I guess. It's finally over. I can start writing in my diary again. What? You haven't been writing in it lately? Yeah, apparently I've been so upset lately, I couldn't even continue writing in my diary. Period. Tsubaki made a refreshing smile. The family will be facing a move after this, but the situation was finally under control. Morning. That is, until this girl appeared. Uh, Haru-chan, Oh, Haru-chan, what's up? Hiroaki-kun ga kaette kita to kiitan de. I heard Hiroaki-kun's back. Tsubaki turned her head aside and looked at me. Yeah, Yusami was right beside me when I received the phone call from you yesterday. We were looking for Hiroaki? What? That late? What were you two doing? Yusami walked up to Hiroaki as Tsubaki interrogated me. Hi, a lady with the messy hair. Chiwa, daijoubu datta ka? Hiya, are you doing all right? Minna ni kikareru yo, daijoubu da yo. Everybody's been asking that. I'm fine. Honto ka? Watashi ni wa nan demo yuu nda zo. Really? You can tell me anything. You know that, right? Haru-chan, kino wa gomen ne. Haru-chan, I'm sorry about yesterday. I can't help but think that I was really mean. Don't worry about it. 
I'm sorry too. I never realized what I was doing. That what I was doing was hurting you. Upon hearing this, Tsubaki sighed in relief. Well, since you're here, want to come in? We are moving soon, though it's quite messy, but the living room is still good enough to entertain. Right, and we still have to call the police. And I bet Tsubaki is getting pale now. Right after she mentioned it. Okay. Satsu? <laughs> Police? Tsubaki's face turned green. Oh, not pale white, but green. Oh god. A green face. Turned green. Oh, the music's kicking in. Corrosion. What, what do you mean? Call the police. I meant just what I said. We have to report to the police about this. That's the reason Yusami came by today. I have to think of a way to prevent Tsubaki from doing so. But you don't have to do it. But the following turn of events caught me by surprise. What are you saying? Tsubaki's lips quivered. I will not call the police. Uh, what did you say? Yusami frowned. It's not right, Haru-chan. Not, not, not right? Me? A smart person like you should understand, right? So, you still don't want to call the police? Uh, of course! How could you say such a thing? Tsubaki's face read unbelievable. Why? Uh, isn't it obvious? Calling the police will only irritate the kidnapper. What do you think would happen then? Yusami's eyes met mine for a brief moment. Tsubaki is afraid of a possible second or third kidnapping. You, you already angered the kidnapper once when you swapped out the ransom. You're going to get someone killed if you keep saying stuff like that. <laughs> Yusami felt silent as of trying to restrain herself. Uh, I'm sorry, I know you're worried about me, but we can't call the police, it's out of the question! <laughs> Yusami gazed into Tsubaki with the eyes of a beast. Hmm. So you fear this man and his retaliation so much that you are afraid to even hate him. Don't you realize that you are letting him walk all over you? Yusami squeezed the sentence out of her mouth. I think this is exactly what happens. Haru-chan, you couldn't, couldn't possibly understand. Nothing like this has ever happened to your family, has it? Uh, 
目が覚めるんだよ。My heart nearly stopping every time the phone rang, wondering whether Hiroaki would come back or not. Whenever the wind blew and rattled the windows, not being able to sleep throughout the whole night. そんなのはもう嫌だよ。I never want to go through that again. ごめんね。そういうわけだから。I'm sorry, but that's all I have to say. Tsubaki closed her eyes in anguish. What an unexpected development! There couldn't be a better outcome for me at least. Well then, Yusami. <laughs> What? You want to say something? In the end, Yusami didn't help one bit. I'm sure she is not quite ready to just let this drop, but regardless, she no longer has any right to stick her nose into Tsubaki's family affairs. Hiroaki kun ga buji de hontou ni yokatta. Kaerimasu. I'm glad Hiroaki could return safely. I'll be leaving now. She turned away after she finished. Hiroaki grabbed Tsubaki's sleeves. Hey, Onei-chan, let's go play! Hiroaki, wait for me inside. Tsubaki shrugged off Hiroaki's grip. Ah, sorry, I have to talk to Azai kun. Yeah, I got it. Make some snacks for me later. He vanished away. <clears throat> Hiroaki took a look at me and went into the house. Don't worry about it. Anyway, this case has been wrapped up. You can return to your everyday life from today on. So, Kana. I guess so. She wore a tight expression. Azaiku, Watashi, Henkana. Azaiku, am I weird? Weird? Henni, Natchata Kana. Am I getting weirder? couldn't really tell you. Looking back on the horror and misfortune of the past few days, I'd be more surprised if she was acting like a normal schoolgirl. It's like these feelings that I've never experienced before are slowly taking a hold of me. It scares me. As if trying to suppress her shivering, she crossed her arms and hugged herself. Yeah, I must admit that you have been a bit excited these past few days, but don't let it bother you. Thanks, Adaikun. It's reassuring to hear you say that. I turned and left after seeing that smile. Well then, I see you at school. Just call me if anything comes up. We are all done here. Both the kidnapping and the change in Tsubaki's attitude we are developing in a way that benefited me. I must have the luck of the devil or something. You are the devil! You are freaking Mao! In your split personality. Wait, Adaikun, are you free today? Today? Well, I don't have any special plans. Why? Wait, what? Then, want to get together? Aren't we already together? Oh, oh, okay. I mean, later. I don't have anything to do with Tsubaki anymore. Oh, you are such a dick, man. Why? 
It is a rare occasion, but I might be busy working. How about tonight? Wouldn't it be better to spend the day with your family? Your mom just got out of the hospital, didn't she? Sure, then how does the middle of the night sound? It sounds very kinky to me. The middle of the night? Is little Miss Goody Two Shoes Tsubaki actually asking a man out late at night? Yes, she does. Be prepared for some action or be a dumbass. That's so. Why do you have to fall for such a dick like him? Sorry, I'm just feeling really insecure right now. I want to feel you next to me, Adaikun. For some reason, I get the gist that this girl is interested in me. No shit, Sherlock! No shit! You just realized it now? You just realized it now, this very moment? Not all the other hints before? Jesus! I was looking. As I picked this game, I was looking for a visual novel with a male protagonist that is not a total idiot and a total dense person. But I think there's not a single visual novel out there where the male protagonist is not a total dense person regarding to dating and having a relationship. I mean, Adaikun is smart, like really smart. He's so smart that he developed a second conscious in his mind and can even bring both together. But he, but he just realized this thing now? <sighs> okay, wait, I need to take a sip. <sighs> okay. I think... I think I'm gonna leave this episode right here because I reached the limit for today's episode. So it's another cliffhanger for you. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it so far. Leave a like if you feel like they should be together or not. And yeah, I hope I will see you then in the next episode. Stay tuned.